What's happening? It's Tyler of TylerTalksTrash.com and today I wanted to talk to you about the Big Berkey water filtration system. Uh, a friend of mine was really keen on this and he's been using it a while and he's been bugging me about water quality and that I should be filtering my water and I was thinking about it more and more and lately I've been getting obsessed with um, survival because you know being a waste nerd and an environmental geek as I am I'm always thinking of well what's going to happen when eventually the power grid runs out or we have a serious problem um, which is bound to happen in my opinion sorry to be a bummer but whatever and this is definitely the right start because you need water I have a rain barrel out back this thing can filter out rainwater with no problems whatsoever and ultimately it makes everything better even your coffee I mean rule number one of coffee is to have the best quality water you can right and this thing I will say the water is so good actually that um, if you drink your tap water, you know you may notice there's a chlorine taste to it because they treat it with tons and tons of chlorine, sodium hypochlorite, all that kind of crap. So this takes all that out essentially, and so what you're left with is something that's really tasteless. So um, again, this thing's super nice. Uh, it's a gravity filter, so there's no energy involved. You just basically dump it into the top chamber. There's two microporous carbon filters in the top, and I believe there's silver in there too because that prevents there from being microbial buildup and such. So you can have up to four filters, it comes with two, and really I think you would put four in there if you're really trying to get a lot of water out of it. But for me, I thought the two was fine to start with to see if I liked it, and it just so happens I do. But enough of me yakking, let's take a look inside and see how it looks. Up close and personal with the big Berkey, let's take a look under the hood. Super simple. It's just two carbon filters, and that's how it comes shipped to you. You can also expand it up to four. You'll see that there's two white caps there. So again, you can have four on there if you want to increase your filtration speed. Another add-on that you can get with this is actually the PF2 arsenic and fluoride filters. <laughs> so with these, apparently they're made specifically because if they were to design filters all in one for just the carbon filters up top, the water would be super slow coming out. With this, they reduce the flow speed by a little bit, but it's not so bad. And one, no one note about these is that when you thread them on, it says eight revolutions and no more, or else it could damage the screen of the PF2 filters. And you'll notice that they, they jiggle a bit. I'm not sure why that is, but apparently that's normal. So keep that in mind that when you install these, if you decide to get them, that they do jiggle a bit, even if after you follow the instructions. Also keep in mind that because of displacement, they take up some room for where there would normally be clean water. So you may want to consider going with the bigger model. In a way, I kind of wish I did. I mean, I do, I drink this entire thing every single day, which is awesome because before this, I was a terrible soda drinker. And this is actually helping me get off of it because now I'm drinking, you know, perfect water essentially. Now for the cons, really quick, the spigot. This thing is kind of a pain in the butt, and I will say that um, you gotta be careful with it. Let me take a look at the inside again real quick. You'll see that it's all plastic, essentially, and you gotta be really careful with this because you don't wanna break it or anything, but you know, what I've observed is that it's really tough, and you really wanna tighten the heck out of this piece. You can even see how the washer on there is kind of tweaked a little bit, because uh, if you look at the complaints of the Big Berkey, you'll see that the number one complaint that most people fall victim to is that the spigot right at the bottom here will just leak. So this might happen to you, it happened to me. So what I recommend is just when you're starting this up and filling it up with your first round of water, just put this in your sink. So that way if it all leaks or whatever, it doesn't get all over your floor and your countertop like it did to me. <laughs> and really all you need to do then is just take a wrench and essentially tighten it down there and then grab this and turn it one full rotation. And that's what I found was enough tightness for me. But just experiment and don't get discouraged. I kind of did, but everything's cool now. So to wrap things up here, this thing is definitely the way to go. I'm extremely pleased with it. They make them in various sizes that go all the way up to six gallons. This one is two gallons. So imagine one that's even taller. <laughs> so again, this is the Big Berkey. And if you're looking to filter your water the best way possible, this is definitely the way to go. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment, hit the like button, and check out TylerTalksTrash.com where I write about all different kinds of environmental issues, and I would love to hear from you. So thanks for watching, and take care. 
What's happening? It's Tyler of TylerTalksTrash.com and today I wanted to talk to you about the Big Berkey water filtration system. A friend of mine was really keen on this and he's been using it a while and he's been bugging me about water quality 